Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and last night Apple released iOS 11.2 beta 2 for only iPhone 10. They didn't release it for any of the previous generations for some reason and this particular one was a large update because it's the first time a beta has been on this device I think. So 2.21 gigabytes. Now let's take a look at the build number. The build should be a little bit different between the two devices. So if we go into settings you can see the build is 15C5097D on the iPhone 10. If I go over to the iPhone 8 Plus, we'll see what the build here is. It's a little bit different since this is beta one and the beta is not available. So here we have 15C5092B. And if I go to software update on this device, it's up to date. There is no beta two update. Now I don't know if that's going to be coming out in the future or what, but basically I think they did this for pretty much one reason. And I think that's because people that were getting their new iPhones that were already on a beta, whether that be on their iPhone 5S or all the way up to the 8 Plus, when they wanted to install that backup to the 10, they couldn't do that because there was no newer version of the operating system available. iOS 11.2 Beta 1 wasn't even available for iPhone 10, so you couldn't even update to it, then restore your backup to this device. So I actually had to remove the, the beta from this device, roll it back, then restore this, install it here. So it was a big pain and I wish I would have known they were going to release that yesterday. I would have just waited. But at this point, we can only find one thing. Many people online have been looking and so far we've only found one thing about this particular beta that's different and that has to do with the wallpapers. There's three new still wallpapers within iOS 11.2 beta 2 on the iPhone 10 exclusively. If we go into choose new wallpaper and then under live, what you'll see is there's three new ones right here. They're not available on the iPhone 8 Plus. So if we go here, we can push. And these are the ones they used in the commercial, I think, with the, the corners. If you watch the little swirls in the corners, they look pretty neat. We'll cancel. Go to this one. Same thing here. We push. And I can't share these because it's not an easy thing to share. If I can find a link online, I will. But basically, it's exclusive for this device right now. If we go to this, you'll see this one. This is probably my least favorite, although it's the most colorful. Uh, it looks kind of muddy, so. But uh, I like this one, so I used it. And that's pretty much it on this. Now, I did run a Geekbench on this particular device just to get an idea where we, where we were at. So the beta, or the non-beta software, rather, came in at 10,267. This is on the public release iOS 11.1 and then you'll see the single core score there. If I go to the, the, the new beta, I actually got a lower score and I ran this two times to make sure I got similar scores. It's not horribly off, but it is a difference and I haven't noticed any slowdowns or anything so far. And I think it's safe to install if you wanna run a beta on the newer device. Uh, I was a little hesitant to do it, but for the sake of making this video, I thought I'd, I'd share that with you. Since you can't get those wallpapers on, on the older devices, they're only available on this one. So I'm not sure why they keep doing these exclusive things. This will work just fine on this device, but they want to keep it exclusive to the iPhone 10, which is kind of crazy, but not a whole lot we can do about that at this point. But if you found anything else, let us know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.